Uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans. How are you? It's been a tough week in the Blitz world. Let's band together as a community and talk about pancakes. By pancakes, I mean the T100 LT. I'm not going to go into uh, any great length uh, on the goings-on redroodles and such. It's just an incredibly sad and disappointing state of affairs and a tale, uh, unfortunately, as old as time. One that I wish we didn't have to deal with and not my story and not something I'm an expert with, so I'll leave it to people who are better versed to chat about. What I will talk about is this tank. This is a vehicle that is absolutely near and dear to my heart. This is the T100 LT. It's a tank that I first came across in World of Tanks PC and immediately fell in love with. I don't know if you know this about me, but I am a tremendous believer in light tank gaming. It's my favorite thing to do is drive lights. Uh, the Vickers, the T100 LT, the Batchat, uh, to a lesser degree, the WZ1. Uh, three two. That's not really my favorite light. Still, I drive him and I drive it well. Uh, not really. That's a lie. I do that very poorly. Low gun depression tanks. I am the struggle. This is a unique vehicle in that it is so low to the ground that you can hide it anywhere. And it's actually an incredible design feature for the tank. It doesn't have the turret armor that you can use to go hold down, but it's so agile. It has such a great camouflage profile that you can manufacture all kinds of goodies from the T100 LT, both thanks to its incredible agility and a gun that is very, very good at on-the-move spanking. I'm going to show you a game in just a short second from a very, very cool amigo, Kikesha, who's a friend of the channel and sent a replay in to bushkagaming at gmail.com. Now, if you want to feature on the channel as well, maybe you should do like Kakesha and send a replay to bushkagaming at gmail.com. It's a game on Middleburg. And Middleburg, for all that it is, a wonderful map. Uh, chock full of history and gravitas. It's not a map that I would generally associate as being incredibly friendly to light tanks. Especially not one like the T100 LT, where you don't have gun depression and a strong turret to take advantage of the angles on the hill uh, or the armor to side scrape and brawl in the town. But thankfully, our amigo did not listen to Bushka and he went and did it himself. And the game that he is going to present to you today or I'm going to present to you today from Kikesha is absolutely outstanding and well worth every dollar the price of admission. For myself, it remains a tank that I'm absolutely in love with. I play it more probably than any other tank in Blitz, the T100 LT. Uh, if I want to win, it's not always the tank I go to. Uh, generally, that'll be like something like a, an STB. Win a lot of games in that. But if I want to just enjoy myself, and hell knows I enjoy enjoying myself, then the LT uh, is always at the top of the list. What a bounce. What a great bounce. I bet you the Progetto was like, yeah, absolutely. I like shooting the side of a tank that has no armor and getting that kind of a result. Big fan of it. Can't help it. Anyway, let's warm up the tonsils and commentate through this wonderful Middleburg tilt like a Kesha. Brace yourselves, boys and girls. We're going full esports hero. That's right. There will be frogs in socks. There will be all kinds of business. Uh, here we go. Top of the mountain, Middleburg. We fight for hills, not holes. As Kakesha gets the early spot. Nice work there. The kick. The kick, the kick, the kick is on fire. Uh, he's just angling and dangling as he goes hard off the top turnbuckle. And he's found a willing participant there on the other side of the map. On the other side of the aisle. A bipartisan project. You put your face in front of me and I'll punch it. Uh, nice, nice little bit of discretion being the better part of Valley here. Knocks over the tree. Let's pretend that was intentional. Just giving himself an extra bit of camo now. And he's coming up here and he's going to let his teammate be the fulcrum. And he's going to be the swinging door, the iron fist that punishes the temerity of the red team as they look to make a little bit of love. Oh, look, you've got to love a light tank driver who understands exactly what it's like 
to use the rule of double bush. Still, someone was spotting him, and you can just see edging across there on the right-hand side, the T-54, another one of the Soviet-era love children. And Kikesh is setting up for what should be a wonderful comeuppance for that T-54. Working brilliantly off the back end here of the STB Spinosaurus. And here we go. One right, one left. Or we just go left and uh, enjoy ourselves. Oh, who's he going to shoot? And he unfortunately nails one straight into the jaw of our protagonist. It's STB1 chases on. But Kakesha is absolutely sighted. Much better prey. Wonderful example of the T100 LTs on the move. Devastation. Very nice shot with a little... Oh, he's overshot the target. No qualms, though. Absolutely ready for it. Born ready, they call him. Uh, when they're not calling him sir. Down he goes. That is now two tanks each out of the game. We're starting nil all. Uh, it's another two halves of football to decide the champion of the Middleburg tilt. Looking now across the vacant sea. Two red tanks spotted. A little bit of light tank work. There's the opposition T100 LT. There can only be one Highlander. Kakesha playing a very measured game here. Just a complete floor game. Great response. Tracks an FV215B183 Death Star. Big Turkey at the back end of the map who's managed to drive right through the middle of town for the pleasure of climbing up the opposite hill. And as is the case so often on the Middleburg tilt, the red team has run out of ideas and originality and they are going to attempt to draw the greens down with a cap. Now that would be a miraculous shot should our hero have threaded the needle there, but that was obviously too hard. So the KPZ obliges and rolls forwards to give the side shots. Wonderful gear. There's an FV4005. The shit barn rolls out sideways, as is his want, giving all the world a look at the leg. Here we go. Yes, thank you very much. Takes out the turret as well. So he's going to have to blow a repair kit there. Racing forward and he's completely ignored. What is wrong with these kids? Don't they understand the severity of what is coming on the flank? One tank down now, the green team racing against time. Three minutes, 35 seconds left. Oh, it's all tanks down and it's a 1v4. Blind shot, baby! You know you love it. You know who else loves it? Your mum goes for a second blindy. No good there. The Jaegeroo wants a piece of the action. Can't reverse fast enough. No smoke required. We're out of here. Thanks very much. He is not that him. He is this him, and this him is going over here. Uh, Kakesha taking stock, thinking about life, love, and the pursuit of happiness. Only been touched up once in this game, and that was by that T-54 who had the temerity to actually reach out and lay hands upon the great man. Racing now back to the spawn, thinking about whether or not he wants to duck down the hill and do something a little bit crazy. But it's a measured tone here from the top shelf Anchor as he rolls the other end of the map, creating all kinds of consternation in the red camp. As again, they seek to achieve success through the limited repertoire of, I think I'm going to cap it. Yes, I think I'm going to cap it. Are there any blind shots to be had? Loves a blind shot, this kid. We know that from experience. There is a T100 LT. He's very worried about being spotted by that grub. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, though. He's coming up here. Backdoor Bonanza. And there it is. Thanks very much. No more calls, please. We have a winner. Oh, there's nothing like a... I won't go there. Demonetization beckons. 4,261 hit points on the card now as Kakesha rolls gently through the back suburbs of Middleburg. This is the middle class. Good schools. Nice urban environment. Parks. Amenities. Many cafes. Oh, he's caught the E100 napping and he might... Oh, careful! Might have enough hit boy. Oh, he's jerking and jinking. Zigging when the E100 zagging. He can't get the gun down. The side hug is on. Tanking 101. The big fundamental is in the house as he puts the badger between him and harm's way. Takes one from the FV, but to be honest, we could have uh, easily seen a couple there. And he's done very well. Look at the angle on that. And sneaks another one in. You wouldn't expect anything else. One shot now. One shot. He knows that turret can't go full 360. And he's made it a 1v1. 5,869 hit points. 
on the scorecard. Is he brave? Is he foolish? Is he a little bit of both? Rolled into one. Gloriously sexy amigo. And he trundles forward and takes umbrage. And that's all she wrote there at the Middleburg mascot. Oh, what a wonderful man he is. Kakesha, get him in here. I want to buff him. I hope I've been pronouncing his name. No, I haven't. It's Kakishka. Well, I'm an idiot. He's an idiot. No, he's not really. He's a very, very good tank driver. I think I'm the only idiot here. Thanks very much for watching, boys and girls. Remember to like, subscribe, and just generally have a good time in the old town tonight. And we fight for hills, not holes, on Middleburg. Well done to the STB1 there too. Nice tilt, my friend. Nice tilt.